Down to the search for a sexual predator at UCLA. The attacker targeting a woman on campus during the middle of the day. Kick on Jeff Nguyen has the latest on that investigation tonight. Jeff, good evening. Good evening to you, Jeff. Police say that the attack happened right in front of this building, in fact, in this sidewalk area over here. We are moving this camera to give you a sense of how open this space is. There is a bus stop there. There is a street that flows by. On top of this, police say it took place during daylight. Even after the sun goes down, the foot traffic outside the UCLA Faculty Center is pretty steady. And that is why grad students Bethany Johnson and Becky King say they're surprised to learn a woman was attacked on the sidewalk here nearly two weeks ago. Well, it's absolutely shocking. The UCLA Police Department says a man approached the woman on campus to ask her for directions to the faculty center. She walked him over, and when they got here, police say the man grabbed her in a private part of her body. It happened before noon on May 31st. This is so populated during the daytime that I didn't think this was somewhere that was dangerous. Police say the woman was able to get away without injuries and the man ran off. He's believed to be about 50 years old with short, unkempt hair. He also has a five-inch gray beard that's rounded at the bottom and dark gray canvas shoes with red trim around the ankle. The attack happened right by a van pickup spot that students can use to get a safe ride home and it's yards from a blue emergency phone. Bethany Johnson and Becky King say they have mixed feelings about how they'll move around campus from now on. I guess I don't feel significantly more threatened, but I'm definitely going to be more aware of if I'm the only person in the general vicinity. I don't want to be, be paranoid. I don't want to be like thinking all the time about my safety because I think that could degenerate. And the university police department says that it sent out an email alert to students and staff. However, everyone we spoke to tonight out here said that this was the first time they had heard about it.